652, time for the morning sprint. Wisconsin drivers in Madison, listen up. Traffic's going to be backing up around John Nolan Drive over the next half month and a half. The road is going down to one lane underneath the Monona Terrace due to work replacing the plumbing of that building. Backups are expected, so you should try and find an alternate route for your downtown commute. Watertown police are investigating a crash that left two people dead over the weekend. The crash happened right here on the Highway 26 bypass. One car was traveling in the wrong direction, and that led to a head-on collision that killed both drivers. Two passengers were also rushed to the hospital. Their condition is currently unknown. A former state Supreme Court justice will have to turn over records related to her work advising Robin Voss. A Dane County judge made the order. It's over the three-judge panel the House Speaker hired to consider whether to impeach new Supreme Court Justice Janet Protasiewicz. Former Chief Justice Pat Roggensack was on the panel. She has 30 days to produce any record she has involving the case. A man who pled guilty to a homicide charge in August will receive a sentence today. Jeremiah Kane was originally charged with first-degree intentional homicide, which is a felony that can carry a life sentence. He pleaded guilty, though. He took a deal to a lesser charge of first-degree reckless homicide. Now he'll face a maximum of 40 years in prison and 20 years of extended supervision. The World Health Organization is calling for an end to the violence around hospitals in Gaza. This is one hospital says three babies have died after being taken off intubators because of a lack of power. And thousands flee that same hospital due to constant heavy fighting outside the building. This is the IDF claims to have tried to help the hospital, but were turned away. Credit rating for Moody's is lowering its outlook for U.S. credit to negative from stable. The firm cites political polarization in Congress and rising interest rates as reasons. Still, Moody's gives the U.S. a triple, uh, top AAA credit rating on its debt. It's the last of the three major credit rating agencies to do so. New York City Mayor Eric Adams says he's turned over his electronic devices to the FBI to cooperate with an investigation. The FBI is looking into the mayor's campaign fundraising. This is over whether Adams' campaign conspired with a construction company to funnel money from Turkish nationals to the campaign. Adams himself has not been accused of any wrongdoing yet. Republican South Carolina Senator Tim Scott is no longer running for president. He announced last night that he is suspending his campaign. So that leaves five GOP candidates left running for president. One Republican official supportive of Scott's campaign told CNN that Scott had an optimistic and hopeful message, and that's just not where the base of the party is right now. A person is in custody this morning after allegedly driving onto the tarmac at the La Crosse Airport. Around 3 in the afternoon Saturday, police received a call of somebody driving through a locked gate and then boarding a private plane. Staff were still on board. Police were able to block the aircraft from being able to leave the tarmac. Officers arrested the person and nobody was injured. Today, Donald Trump's lawyers will launch the defense against allegations that he, his adult sons, and his business defrauded lenders and insurers. Donald Trump Jr. said to take the witness stand first today. Trump's lawyers have said that they'll likely call Eric Trump and the former president himself back to the stand. All three testified when prosecutors made their case over the past few weeks. Five minutes away from 7 o'clock, waking up to temperatures in the 30s and low 40s this morning. So chilly, but seasonably so. We're looking at some very mild temperatures to head our way uh, going into the afternoon. That'll continue. A lot of sunshine expected today as temperatures climb to low 50s here already by the noon hour, headed into the mid, maybe even the upper 50s. A little bit of a noticeable north wind, northwest wind up to around 10 miles per hour, but otherwise just going to be a beautiful day. Already getting off a nice start with that sun coming up. Temperatures rising through the 50s here already at the noon hour should be tapping out in the mid to upper 50s. A lot of sunshine today and we continue with this mild stretch throughout most of the week. Maybe touching 60 Wednesday and Thursday, just a slight chance of a shower Friday. Kelly, thanks so much. Mm -hmm. Thanks for joining us this morning, folks. We're back with another news and weather update on your Monday in about half an hour.